us a lot of money. I'll sue you into jail, oh, asshole. Can stop fighting, please? I hate it when we fight. Can't we have a group hug? Hit me, man. I like it. Oh, my damn no. Oh, stop crying, uh -huh. baby boy. Uh -huh. Who are you going to tell, huh? Where's your three-step program now? You think I'm a little wimp now? You want to be rude about pressing issues now, eh? You think you're a tough guy from the gutter now, eh, my friend? You think you can screw with me, with Maurice Chavez? What you thinking, asshole? Uh, I'm sorry. Please don't hit me again. I, I love your show. Yeah. Yeah, I think I understand this positive thinking. And that was pressing issues. I think we covered a lot of ground. We learned all about how to press the issue. And remember, if at first you don't get hurt, hit the guy very hard in the face with a paperweight. It just worked for me, and I feel like a million dollars. Let's tell you a little bit more about exactly how public radio is financed and quality programs like Pressing Issues come on the air. Don't go away. That was Pressing Issues, and this is Vice City Public Radio. We hope you're enjoying the show as much as you're about to enjoy listening to me and Jonathan Freeloader. Hello, everybody. Hi, Jonathan. How are you? Heartbroken, Michelle. Why, Jonathan? Why? Well, because it seems people... People just don't care anymore. I mean, where are people's priorities? We have campaigned tirelessly for public radio for literally months now, and the station is still in trouble. But a man with a hygiene problem puts on a pop concert, and suddenly everyone has money to hand over to starving kids they've never even met. I think it's a disgrace. Yes, people are very shallow. Like you? Exactly like me. But radio is much more important than food. I have a good mind not to let them go back into pressing issues this time. You have to give us some money. It is a... It is, it's a disaster. That's what it is. What's wrong with you people? Please, we're struggling to pay for our second homes here. And I've only had three vacations this year. You poor, poor man. Let's get on with the show. Remember, call now. Please, we need your money. Urgently. Thanks, guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Pressing Issues on BCPR. That's Vice City Public Radio. Radio which gives the public exactly what they want. High-quality educational programming about serious topics and the consistent reminder that the world is going to hell in a handbasket if you don't give us money. Remember, Vice City Public Radio is commercial-free because it is funded entirely by donations from our listeners and corporate sponsors. So if you're enjoying the show, why not make a contribution? I'm Maurice Chavez, and this is Pressing Issues. Pressing Issues is a roundtable discussion group in which we ask self-important people exactly what they think about things, and then they argue amongst themselves for a bit, before leaving with views more extreme than when they came in. Only joking, ladies and gentlemen. This is a show founded on the ancient Greek principle of enlightened debate and the American principle of free speech. Or is that the ancient Greek principle of feeding wise men hemlock and the American principle of being annoyed and loud so nobody can get a wordy? I forget. Only time will tell. Now the subject we are discussing right now and pressing issues with me, Maurice Chavez, for your enlightenment and enjoyment is a very serious one. Public safety. In case you haven't noticed, Vice City is not a very safe place. These are troubled times. We are a troubled people. Some would say we are a people at war with ourselves. Others would say we are at war with reality. Those who live in other countries and strive to own our fast food restaurants and quickie marts would say we are a bloodthirsty bunch of crazies who let children buy guns from the supermarkets. Another opinion is that it is the fault of society that, as Plato said, people don't mean to kill each other. It happens because they are poor or desperate or really thirsty or in need of a vacation or something. Another view is that we are...